How's it going team kids? Welcome to the weekend preview video for November 16th and 17th. I'm excited. Let's jump on in. Let's do this thing. Uh, last week I shared a little bit of a formatting shift that we're going to be having um, for these videos. So the first part is going to be covering any global things that are just going on within the ministry or at the church that you should be aware of. Um, the second section is going to be going over fourth through fifth grade content, specific things to uh, the loop show and the small group guide for fourth and fifth graders. Um, that with the exception of the the Saturday night services, because the Saturday night services have the same curriculum for all three, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. So that's the second section is just going through the, the general content specific to the loop show for the fourth and fifth graders at the nine o'clock and 11. Um, and then the last section is specifically for sixth graders with our LCK six ministry at the nine and 11 on Sunday. Um, so just trying to break it down so that way you guys know where, what to focus on and where to highlight. Um, and so I'll, I'll kind of do that with a little segue throughout the video. So that being said, here's the global things that you should be aware of. So the first thing that's coming up, um, the big thing, is that we have a group's skate night coming up on November 25th. Uh, I've attached in this uh, in this email um, the information that will be helpful for you in order to know what this skate night's all about. If you didn't serve last week, we, we handed out cards to parents. Um, just information about where and when and all the things that they they need to know. Um, the, the, the registration is, um, is live now, so they can go on and register. If you would like to, to reach out to your small group leader or to your small group parents, um, I've included a, a template for a parent email that you could just send out. Um, now that you guys have the email addresses of the parents, um, that, that's in the email as well. It kind of breaks down for each service. And then in that uh, Google Sheet, there's information for the fourth, fifth, and sixth grade small groups um, that uh, that you guys have access to now. So if you would, if you want to go above and beyond and and just reach out and invite those parents and encourage them to come and participate, um, that would be awesome. There's a parent email that template that's in there that you can use if you want. Um, and that so once again, not not expect not a requirement. It's an optional thing. Um, just just for you if you're if you're interested. Uh, the group's registration uh, sheets are in the email as well. Um, really try, wanted to compile that information so that way going forward, if there's anything that we're, that you were thinking about doing or planning, um, or you just want to get the groups together outside of the outside of the regular time where we meet on a Sunday for for anything, um, please utilize that that information to reach out, connect with parents first. Um, and then reach out to me if you have any things that you're, you're interested in or thinking about doing that might be great ways to connect groups in community um, outside of what we're doing in Life Center Kids Ministry. Um, keep, me in the, keep me in the loop. So that's everything that's going on with uh, the global stuff. We'll transition now to the fourth through fifth grade content. So the fourth through fifth grade stuff that's coming up this week, we're going to be in week three of the survival skills series. Um, we've talked the last three weeks on the spiritual disciplines of prayer. Last week, we looked at the spiritual discipline of solitude. And this week, we're going to be focusing on reading the Bible and the importance of engaging in God's word as a resource, as a way to connect with God and to know how to obey God and how to listen and know what God wants from us, and uh, and so that's going to be a, that's going to be an important uh, sp survival skill. If we as Christians know how to use our word, knows how know how to engage God's word, then that's going to be something that will help sustain us throughout all seasons of life. Um, and so Tammy Lights is going to be teaching. This is going to be her first time teaching uh, for us this weekend, and she has a great lesson planned um, and an activity that she's planned for our small group time. So if you're leading a fourth through sixth grade group at the Saturday night or a fourth and fifth grade group Sunday, you may want to um, look at the uh, attachment um, in the email that says uh, fourth through fifth grade activity guide. Um, yes, that's what it says, activity sheet. Um, and it just has the breakdown of what she's gonna be doing in the big group time. Um, and so it's a, it's a really fun activity, just focuses on this idea of understanding 
our, our beliefs are key to how we approach the Bible. If we believe that the Bible is confusing and hard to know and we can't understand it, then that's going to be an approach as we, an attitude as we uh, uh, go to the Bible that's going to force us to, or allow us to miss some of what's going on. Um, and so we want to just address those, those key beliefs that set the foundation for what we believe and, uh, and uh, allow us to engage God um, and remember that no matter what we read, no matter how we read, God still loves us and, and he has a passion for us to know him. And that's why he's given us his word. Um, it's, a, it's an act of grace. It's not something that we should be forced or compelled into, but something that is a response to God in his mercy and in his love for us. Um, so that's coming up with the fourth through fifth graders. Um, look over the, the small group sheet and the activity sheet so that way you can prepare for the fourth through fifth grade lesson. The last thing is for sixth graders. So the sixth grade lesson for um, for this weekend for the nine and eleven o'clock service, um, we're going. We just finished our three weeks on building a foundation for for finding and following Jesus, uh, and we looked at the three topics of identity, who we are, story, and uh, identity and story kind of together. How we um, by becoming a follower of Jesus, we enter into Jesus' story, and that becomes who we are as people. Sorry, I got a chest thing. No fun. Um, the next thing that we talked about was action, how we live, um, how what do we do as followers of Jesus. And then last week we talked about community, where do we belong, and the church and uh, the community of God that comes alongside each other to uh, help us find and follow Jesus so we can help other people around us find and follow Jesus. So we've kind of set that foundation. We're going to continue to emphasize that all throughout the year. Our big goal throughout this year for sixth graders is to is to really solidify a, a foundation for helping them find and follow Jesus. And those three things are going to be an essential component to that. But this week we're going to be building on that with a very practical uh, uh, tool. And we're going to be starting over the next four months to really start integrating the sixth graders into our structure for discipleship at Life Center. We have a one, two, three kind of structure, which is church, rooted, and life groups, or mission groups. And uh, we're actually going to be messing with the order a little bit, um, but we're going to be doing mission groups for the next six to seven weeks with these sixth graders. And, um, and so we're going to be handing out some uh, mission group guidebooks, um, not this weekend, but next weekend. But this week is when we're going to just really start the conversation about what mission groups are and why they're important and why we do them as a church. And uh, our, our mission group's pastor and our men's pastor, Kenny Carlson, is going to come share his story with the kids and then also cast a vision for these sixth graders as why we do this. And, uh, and it should be a good time. And it really will hopefully prepare these sixth graders with some tools that they can have in their tool belt to grow in their relationship with Jesus, no matter where they end up in life, they can look back and, and realize that, that they can engage God's word, they can know how to study God's word, and they can rely on that to, to help them in every season. So that's coming up this weekend. That's everything, um, all the things. There it is. Thank you so much. i excited for what's coming up this weekend. God bless you. See you later.